So I've raised as many as 2,400 broiler chickens at any one given point, and that's a lot. I'm a farmer, I'm doing this for a business. Now, in the backyard of my friend's house, they raise 30 birds a year in their chicken tractor. Uh, they're done with their rotation, and today is processing day. I wanna show you around, see what's going on, and show you that on a small piece of land, you can have enough chicken for an entire year. So let's go up and take a look around. We just, uh, we're flying over some raspberry bushes here, there's some fruit trees, and there's that chicken tractor in the backyard, 1 20th of an acre, small backyard, doing this to illustrate the point. You don't need a lot of space, you need a little bit of space, but not a lot of space. This is like my first drone flight too, so you'll have to excuse the camera work. But you can see Tall is expanding her garden. She's doing all those birds for an entire year and 1 20th of an acre. She also keeps bees, has a vegetable garden, has those fruit trees, and has installed a lot of like permaculture around her house so that she can live around food. Tall is one of the best cooks I know, and you can tell that she puts a lot of thought into her ingredients. Back down on the ground, let's look at this chicken tractor. It's been zooming around in the fields, feeding these birds a fresh salad bar every day. Uh, they put a skirt around the outside of some of that welded wire to keep predators from digging underneath and to keep from chickens when they're smaller uh, to help them keep them in. Uh, but it's really just predator protection. They got nice big fat birds. They let them get a little bit bigger because they're doing them as a homestead batch. If you're gonna cook a chicken, you might as well cook a big chicken. If you're gonna cook chicken, because you know, you're going through all that effort. So raising the birds a little bit bigger, they haven't had a high mortality and uh, they get all the meat that they want. Now you see these brown spots. Uh, brown spots are a thing where chicken manure is high in nitrogen. It can burn out the grass, but it all does recover. Headed back up in the sky for a second, you can see at the top of the screen, the squares were turned back to green where the grass is recovered, and then the tan squares from the more recent moves of the chickens. So every year, my friends Tall and Andrew raise this one batch of birds in a chicken tractor that they built. Andrew actually built his house, so he's a very handy guy. Uh, build a chicken tractor to his design, they keep it in the yard year round, the kids play in it, and then during the summer, for two months, they have birds out in their field. Uh, and their field is a small plot in their backyard. It is not a lot of space behind me. I mean, the woods pretty much start right there. But they've managed to move that chicken tractor in a rotation where they need fertilizer on their property, where their grass isn't growing that well. They can put a little extra chicken manure, move the birds onto the good grass to feed the birds. And uh, they got that flexibility. And because broilers, without, you know, just a, a little bit of chores a day, five to 10 minutes a day, the rest of it's really hands off until this day uh, comes <laughs> at the very end. Every animal has one bad day on farm, uh, and today is that day for these chickens. So to run through their process really quick, they have a some kill cones that they borrowed from me just set up on a ladder between a ladder and a rock wall. Uh, the plucker they borrowed from me, which I'm borrowing from somebody else, so it's kind of a communal plucker that's been going around. Uh, the scalder is a camping stove with a big pot of water on it. And then you have a little thermometer and you check the temperature. Then it's just a simple plywood table to work on uh, with a tarp over, or over top to keep the sun off and uh, keep it nice, you know, in case it rains or something, but really simple setup. If you want to see more detailed setup, I have a series of videos where I walk through all the steps in the process, what I do, a very similar situation to this. It's actually the same plucker and some of the same materials. Uh, and I have that playlist that I'll link in the show notes and on the I button uh, up above me. Well, so you can get to that, see what's going on, and walk through step by step without me having to create an entire new video series. Uh, but just wanted to show you that you can do this on a home scale in your backyard. I have a book and a packet out, boom, boom, to show you how to do all of that. Uh, Tall and Andrew uh, drew out their plans, figured out the finances, knew that it was gonna work for their family. They like that they can raise the birds a little bit bigger to the size that they would like. Uh, and then they're happy. They got chicken for an entire year. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions on this or how you might adapt uh, raising broiler chickens to your home or homestead, let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, I will see you out in the field.